Exmoor ponies born on the moor are very special indeed because it's here, living and breeding in their indigenous natural environment, that enables them to retain their true moorland type. The learned and genetic characteristics and behaviours that make a real, authentic Exmoor pony. So when you're choosing an Exmoor pony, what are you looking for? Let's take a look at the confirmation of a good Exmoor pony. That's a really exceptional Exmoor pony filly. Um, sh she is exactly what we would be looking for and she has a particularly lovely head. It's exactly the right shape. Um, we're looking for uh, a nice, short, compact head with the same kind of depth of jaw that you, to the depth through the jaw that you would have to the end of the nose. Um, lovely small ears, a, a good span, hand span between the eyes, um, showing a, 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 good, uh, a good width of the forehead. And we're looking for large eyes, beautifully shaped eyes that are set in the right place towards the side of the head where the pony can have very good peripheral vision because uh, an Exmoor pony in the wild would need to have very good vision uh, as far behind as possible to, you know, to spot predators. And this filly, she also has a really good set of head on the top of the neck. So it's a nice angle, she, she, she's able to position her head nicely and she has a very good set of neck on the wither. So it gives her a kind of up and over look which would be very good for riding because she would be able to engage effortlessly. Um, the shoulder is laid back, very well laid back and there's a wonderful um, equal proportion between the way that the, the line goes up through the shoulder and comes down through the pelvis and across which makes a lovely equal triangle. Um, this filly, the, the, the excellence also continues into the body because she has the right proportions. Uh, the front of her is the same kind of proportion as the middle of her and then the back end as well. And then importantly you have the same depth through the body as you have from the bottom of the stomach to the ground and that shows that her, her legs are, are nice and short and strong and in proportion with, with the body. Now I'm really excited about her. So we need to make sure she goes to a very good home <laughs> with someone who appreciates that. They're so yeah. agile, they're so athletic, you know, they're just, their conformation is, um, is, is brilliant for climbing walls, jumping, um, you know, the, the, the natural obstacles are no problem to them and, and from the moment they're born, these ponies have got to climb things like this, cover bogs, um, you know, get through the, the high sedge grasses and the heather and gorse. So they're remarkably robust. You see, it's just, it's just not a problem to them. So as agility ponies or jumping ponies, um, they've already had such a fantastic training before they even come off the moor. They're confident, well-balanced, sure-footed, sensible, which, you know, really helps them with spookiness. The average pony born in a paddock just doesn't have this kind of training to start with. And it's all there. All created naturally. They have a fantastic education. And intelligence. You know, they, they learn to deal with situations. They learn to solve problems. They learn to work out what's a risk and what isn't a risk. So they're brave, they're courageous, they're sensible. Um, you know, really everything that you would want in a riding pony, all that they ask from the human is that, is that we please respect them, respect their intelligence and find a way of training them and taming them that asks them rather than tells them what to do. And when you ask an Exmoor pony what to do, then they will extend a wonderful friendship to you. Please visit the Moorland Exmoor Pony Breeders Group website, which is www.mepbg.co.uk.